Got a 2015 GMC Acadia with a 3.6. Got the uh, coolant temp sensor code. And uh, we're gonna replace the coolant temp sensor. What you need to do is open your hood, remove your engine cover. You have to remove the oil cap first. Then you can pull it up off these little studs that's held on there with uh, three of them. One, two, three. And just go into those little rubber grommet things. And then you wanna remove, take your uh, dipstick out so you don't break it off. And you wanna pull this piece up. It goes over the uh, sensor. It's alongside the cylinder head in between, uh, what is this, two and four cylinder. So I need to flip that up. And then down below is a sensor. And it's got one of those little red connector things that goes into the connector like these. So you need to pull that up. So you need to get like a an angled pick and you can pick that red piece off the connector and pull it up out of there so you can squeeze the little tabs and release the connector off the sensor. Okay, here's my pick I used. And here's the connector. I pulled the, the red piece up that allows me to push that little round tab in. And I pulled the connector off <clears throat> of the sensor. And the sensor's down right next to the dipstick tube. <clears throat> so what you need to do is get yourself a 13 16 chrome deep socket with a swivel and an extension, 3 8 And get onto that uh, sensor down there and loosen it up. The first you want to do is... You want to remove all these clips with your door panel tool so you can access your radiator cap. So you lift that up and there's radiator cap. If the car is smoking hot, you might want to wait a little bit, but if the car is a little warm, just loosen your cap up slowly to release the pressure and always keep a downward pressure on this cap when you're turning it in case it wants to come up on you. And you'll hear it ch -ch -ch, discharge the pressure as you go. Okay, so, you, so as it's and you got to loose, take the cap off. Then you can put the cap back on, snug it up. Lower this piece down. Get your socket down in there and you can take out your sensor. And have your new sensor ready. And when you get the old one out, thread the new one in. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. My new sensor didn't come with the gasket. I had to take it off my old one. Hmm, where did I get the sensor from? But anyway, so I'm going to put some uh, pipe dope on and I'm going to thread my old washer back on there. Okay, I had to use my socket and a pair of pliers to thread the old washer on there. But when knowing that, I wouldn't have got this sensor. Okay, so now I'm going to hand thread it in there. Do not use the socket to thread it in there because you don't want to cross thread it. Another thing, when you're going together, inspect this sensor. You see one of those tits is square and one's got an angle on it. Well, your connector goes on the angle one, okay? Acts like a ramp. Okay, so make sure you're putting it on this one and not that one, okay? Because then it won't go inside here properly either, okay? So be aware of that. Just a notation, you can use a 21 millimeter also, but I don't have a 21 in this size, so. But anyway, the black piece is a little tight inside here, so you gotta be careful when you're putting it on the new one that you fully seat the socket over it so it sits over it like that, so you can tighten it. And then tighten it up, I don't know, maybe maybe 12 foot pounds it's not just like a drain plug but a little bit less you know all right you don't want to snap it off in there either okay so so now we got the sensor in you got it tightened up you have to wiggle your socket off of it because it gets stuck in that black connector inside the socket all right <clears throat> so now you need to do is plug it back in make sure you match it up 
where the little tit is for your connector and plug it in. Make sure you don't get it crooked. And then bend your tabs inside there. So make sure you put it on there straight. And once you get it on there, give a little tug, see if you can pull it off. If it's good, then you can push in your little red tab, push it down. And then you can put your insulator back over it. And then you can put your dipstick back in. And then you can put your engine cover back on, put your oil cap back on. Uh, start the vehicle, let it run a little bit. Take your cap back off. Double check your fluid level. Top it off. Double check your, your reservoir. Top that off. And don't forget to put your little uh, fasteners back in on your cover. And that's how you do your coolant temp sensor on this particular engine. Okay? If I helped you with this video, that's great. If you could help me out by subscribing, I'd appreciate it. If you already have, I want to thank you.